When discussing where to do the photo shoot for this little 32, Daryl mentioned an old ghost town that wasn't too far away that he knew about. This was intriguing to me since I'd lived in this area my whole life and had heard of this place, and it wasn't too far from Modesto. Jumping in his 32, we took a drive out into the country, and sure enough, we came across this little abandoned town. My memory has faded a bit since it's been over 15 years, but I think the town was called Eugene. What was left of the town was now on private property and behind a fence. After driving in the gate, we found the people who lived there and took care of the old town. We told them our plans, and all they said was, don't drive too close to the buildings. There were nails all over the ground from popping out of the old siding. With our permission, we started the photo shoot. Side note, people love old cars, and I've yet to meet someone who didn't want to help out when a vintage car was involved. Okay, back to the feature. And I do believe that cars have souls. The following was written in 2004 by my good friend and former tech editor, Ben Lorentz. Hot Rod 32. Not all hot rods have flat paint or flatty mills. Show me a gloss black deuce, five window, louvered on both ends, buggy sprung axles, big and littles, a driver, and you've shown me a hot rod. According to Daryl Spurlock, he's been cursed since he was about 11 years old. Seems his sister was seeing a hot rodder, and then that was compounded with a couple of close encounters with the likes of Garlitz and Barris. His apparent curse would be that of hot rotting. Now that's a cross that we'll all be happy to bear. Daryl still owns his first car, a 1929 Ford Roadster pickup and a couple of others. But the car in question today is this smooth little deuce five window that he's had for the last five years. This one he bought rough after it traveled halfway across the country and back. Apparently, it wanted to belong to him. His first order of business after capturing this little gem was to make it right. Starting with a three inch chop and replacing the firewall, this work was performed by Kenning Welch. The interior was in disarray and full of buckets among other non-period pieces. Daryl made sure that the interior got right. In place of the buckets, a bench seat now resides and the dash is now full of moon eyes gauges. A sprint car wheel is used to guide it, and a swan neck is used to change the gears. There are some non-period amenities, if you will allow. That being in the line of a Dan Soy installed stereo, it went back to Kenny again for an AC unit. Face it, not all hot rods are bare bones. Under the louvered hood rests a small block Chevy. The small block has been a pretty popular choice since its inception. And this is not one of those bite in a box and slap it in models. This one sports a whopping 383 cubic inches built by Smitting Performance. The coupe is buggy sprung on both ends. A 9 inch Ford, just like the ones in 57, stuffed with a posi accommodates the rear spring and a good old dropped and drilled axle out front. All four binders are drums. The fronts are Buick pieces and the rears came from Ford. Something must have been done just right with the springs, or maybe it's the tire combination. Whatever the culprit is, this little coupe has the perfect stance. Perhaps it's a combination of all the things above. Add a mild deep black paint job and a few pinstripes. Accent the louvers on both ends in orange also. And all you have left to make it traditional is to drive it. Guess you could say it's a driver. Daryl has logged some 45,000 miles over the last few years, including several trips to Bonneville, and one might say that this is not your average hot dog stand cruiser. Like it was said, not all hot rods have flat paint and flatty mills.
Here are some specs on the old Ford. The frame is the original frame from 1932. Modifications are a 1938 Ford crossmember. The rear end, 9 inch Ford with 350 gears and a Detroit locker. Rear suspension is buggy spring. Rear brakes, Ford drum. Front suspension, buggy spring, 4 inch dropped and drilled axle. Front brakes, Buick drum. Master cylinder, Dodge truck. Steering column, Limeworks. Front wheel make and size, 5x15 by, by Stockton wheel. Front tire make and size, 145 by 15 Firestone. Rear wheel make and size, 10 by 15 Stockton wheel. Rear tire make and size, 285 by 70 by 15 Goodrich. And now some specs for the engine. Small block Chevy, 383 cubic inches. The cam is a 465 488 hydraulic. Compression, 9.2 to 1. Heads are Proline. Horsepower is 380. Torque, 410. Manifold, Edelbrock Performer. Ignition, Excel HEI. Headers and mufflers are Sanderson Stainless Specialties. The transmission is a Turbo 350 with a 2000 stall speed converter. The body is original 1932 Ford 5 window manufactured by Ford with a 3 inch chop and custom louvers. Thank you for watching. Please support our channel by subscribing, clicking the bell for notifications, commenting, and liking. That's it for now. Take care and drive fast.